Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while, right? <laughs> I cannot remember the last video that I made when, you know, I said something in front of you uh, because I've been recording these idiomatic expressions. I've been like, you know, actually working on a few things and one of the main things which prevented me from like recording videos and doing stuff like that was my master's degree, which, you know, happily finished last year. So I'm waiting for, for the diploma. And I'm in China and we are celebrating the Chinese New Year. So that means we have these uh, holidays where people get together, you know, families and whatnot. And, you know, like New Year's resolutions. So why we have these bad boys here? Because I finally made up my mind, you know, I've been collecting these rock stars and 3D posters and comics and books and whatnot. I'm a collector. I have collecting cool things. And yeah, but I have a problem. And I think that most collectors agree that one of them, actually there are a few problems when collecting, one of them is dust. And the other problem is like boxes, you know, there are too many, some of these boxes are huge and whatnot, we don't know where to store them. And space for the collections too, because we want to collect more and more things, but we don't know where to put them. So that's my problem. And uh, I decided actually, to start selling my collection. So I, I started with uh, these bad boys, you know, rock stars, but I'll, I also wanna sell my 3D posters. So I'm gonna do that. And I started with these two. So here we have uh, Motley Crew, these bad boys, you know, glam, uh, hard rock from the 80s and 90s, very famous. Uh, so I have two sets here. I have uh, these guys, um, they're uh, knuckle bones, rock icons. So I have the four and you're not gonna get them again. So you get maybe one or two, but you're not gonna get the four of them. So I have them with the boxes. They're in mint condition. As you can see, they look awesome. They're very fragile. So you have to you know, handle them with care. And uh, we also have here the Nika set, uh, Nika or Marfarin. I have the four of them too, but unfortunately I don't have the original instruments, I mean, for uh, the guitar player, I guess, and uh, for the drummer, Tommy Lee Jones. Anyway, I, I don't have it, so I bought an extra, uh, you know, extra drums and, and the music instruments and whatnot, and they look awesome. I have the speakers too, so I will sell them with everything you see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, actually, at the beginning, I thought I was going to sell the whole collection. Well, at the beginning, I mean, th this year, because before, I, I never thought of selling actually. I love them and I want to keep them and whatnot, but it crossed my mind a few times like, why not? I mean, I need the space and I'm pretty sure that they will be in better hands. We have these bad boys and, they, and then we have this uh, Marilyn Manson, famous guy. I think that, uh, you know, he doesn't need <laughs> uh, introduction. So we have this, the knuckle bones Marilyn Manson and we also have the, some of the figures that were made, they're, they're not naked, they look like, like McFarlane figures, but they're not. They were made by a Japanese artist who passed away a few years ago, so, you know, it adds some value. I don't know. <laughs> and we also have these two small ones. They're very cool. They're very difficult to get. I live in China, I have very good friends and family in the USA and in, in, in many countries, friends. These collections come from many countries and I gather together, so I, let's say, struggle getting this collection for the happy buyer. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this short video. I will talk more about what I'm doing and some of the other collections in future videos that I will be releasing because uh, I have many, you know, what can you do? And I will see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.